Hello everyone, this is Ripper, and today we are playing some shivery medieval warfare, and uh, I haven't done a tactics video in forever! Until today, that is, as my speed. Who the fuck? Oh! God damn right, you better run. <sighs> we're, 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 I'm teaching you how guys how to do the spear today. And uh, we have a vagabond. A vag... Where is he? Oh, shit. I'm, not, I'm not here. Okay. I'm not here. Um, we have a, a, a person. He happens to be yourself. Hi. Um, he is a master of... The, no, uh, he, he is a he's a fantastic comp player. <laughs> Isn't he that exactly that. what he told you? Yeah, to yeah, yeah. say about him <laughs> that he is a master. I'm, I'm of no, guy. No. <laughs> no, no, he's a he's a cool cat, man. Yeah. This guy's this guy's awesome. Competent comp player, and uh, he'll be helping us I, out. I used to play comp with this boy. Oh, I used heck to play yeah. with this guy, man. That sounds back weird. in the streets. I used to play with him though. We're all yeah. peasants. I just realized this is crazy. And we're I mean, trying to teach more people how to use a spear. I'll kill you. Some more than others. Are All right. Brains. In fact, speaking of which, you dirty freaking man at arms, you fight me <laughs> right now, ho. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Let's see. This is how the spear performs against a man at arms who knows who likes to faint a lot. Oh, you cuck! Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you lose sight of me, buddy. No, the problem with this is that <laughs> um, <laughs> you can't. Uh, <laughs> typically, you can't dupe out of range. Like. Yep. So yeah. long. Yeah. So, the spear. It's a beautiful weapon. It is for the vanguard. We are all playing as peasants or some such. But I am playing as a vanguard, and it is the first spear you unlock as him. It has fantastic range. That is generally what you're going to end up using it for. It has all right damage, but it's actually particularly good against man-at-arms. So the reason you guys just saw it, he can't dodge out of the way of it particularly yeah, easily. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're going to go for a tricky yeah. stab, I can dupe to the side. Okay. But um, I yeah. can't dupe away, which is what a lot of, like... I don't want to say bad, but just a lot of new man at arms are going to do. They're mm -hmm. going to be like, oh, I don't want you to hit me. Whoop. Yeah. And that won't I save just, them, which huh. is the yep. which is the best part. Because they like to face hug a lot of the time because they'll be all cocky and like, bitch, you can't hit me. <laughs> bitch, you can't hit me. And then I die. <laughs> just a tip. All it takes. Just a tip. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's got good solid Rude. damage. It'll do. Um, however, the speed is what you can, can rely on here and there. And... Uh, Bada bing, bada boom. It'll get the job done, basically. It's a solid weapon. It really, really is. It is seen in comp here and there. Uh, of course, Merc's Mod Spear is not exactly like Vanilla Spear, but we're not going to get into all those little nitty-gritties. What are we talking about? Yeah, it's about Merc's Mod. Exactly. Nobody gives a shit. Fuck it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. One of you cats need to hook up with a brandy stock because the very first sort of uh, offhand sir, point... Sir Peasant. Sir Plebeian. Oh, hello. Oh, Someone are, happens. Sir Plebeian. I, I had him uh, standing on the side with the brandy. Oh, well, fantastic. Hello. Um, Hi, little how little, are you? little deuce peasant. You you certainly do look like a piece of poop. No wonder your name is deuce. You play like uh, deuce. No, I'm a, I'm a oh, you, you play like deuce. I'm Come here, you. Sir. Come here, you. How about the... Oh. Dave. All right, so the spear is pretty decent at fighting a weapon like the brandy stock simply because... Uh, it outspeeds it, first of all, and it outranges it. While the Brandy Stock hits quite a bit harder, I'm able to do things like that, basically. Just completely not give a flying fadoodle what anybody thinks about me. Uh, thank Wait. you, Sir Peasant, for sacrificing your life for the good of education. Any day. Except so, yeah. Tuesdays. Except two. Well, I mean, that just sucks. So, yeah. It's a good anti-Brandy Stock weapon. That's the first little slight point there. But... Some limitations, like the other spear-type weapons, it cannot combo. Uh, all spears, this weapon, fork, and the brandy stock cannot, in fact, combo, so I can be rolling my mouse wheel all over the world and just clickety-clack and nothing's going to happen. However, it can repost very, very well. Yourself, why don't you try to hit me? I know you wanted to this whole time. Look how quick that LMB was. It even so hit fast. both of them. Uh, hit me. Hit go me, for baby. A, go for a stab, though. Go yeah. for a stab. Yeah, hit me. So... Oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. Are you Too are good. you ready? Are you I'm ready? ready sir? I was born ready. Yeah, that yeah. that shit so was instantaneously, instantaneous. Yeah. Hit me, baby. And but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. go ahead. I was gonna say the the uh, the thing that you want to do though, um, in uh, in servers where you are 
obviously playing like a TO or something that you guys will be playing because I'm assuming a lot of you guys don't duel if you're in the green servers. But what you want to do is you want to get a repost, which is what he just showed you. But then instead of attacking the person that you were originally fighting, you want to hit their buddy that's either to their, that's probably to their right or their left. Yes. Just to kind of, you know, catch them yep. off guard because it's such a fast attack that they're not really going to have time to react. Exactly. Like yourself, come here. Let me up, Buzzy. So yeah, if we were ganging, if we were ganging mm -hmm. to Ripper scenario, come at, me, bros. come at me, bros. Exactly, and he's just gonna feed him a hit. Hit me again. Let me. Bam. So just yeah, like you that. could do that. Do a so stab. Quick. Do a stab. Yeah, yeah. Oh so, no. Re so what the thing is though, you want to repost into a target switch. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. So Typically, yeah, you would want to do. Yeah. So so what I just showed you guys with the LMB, that's the way of hitting multiple targets. But this, what I'm about to do, is target switching. It's a little more advanced thing you would do in a team objective match. Is you're fighting a single target. However, you go off of him for one single attack and just poof, hit another guy nearby. I'll throw yeah. them off guard. They're probably not expecting it, basically. It's and this fantastic. Weapon, yeah. This weapon works the, very well yeah, for it. Spear's the king of that, honestly. Absolutely. And also, you can hit. Uh, you can do diagonal hits. Mm -hmm. So, like, stand at a diagonal, and uh, you can long. You can uh, downward scroll through both of us. So, oh, yeah. hit, hit him. Wham. Yeah, he just hit both exactly. of us. Double the damage. Another uh, thing that you pleasure. can do, which mm -hmm. is dirty as fuck, but if you're on the team, I do this all the time. Um, when I'm on somebody's team, oh, and I yeah. know that there's a knight player that's in front of me, and, and they haven't taken damage, <laughs> I will straight up stab through my knight player to hit them, yeah. uh, just because it does less damage because they're on your team, but also they're a knight. So absolutely, uh, that is a very. However, do not take that as a free pass to deal team damage because oh yeah, team damagers are scum in pubs. I pretty I, I just do it with people that I'm like friends yeah. with most. Exactly. Of the time. Yeah. You just chill like, hey, man, can I just shove this long rod through Pull you? Pull through you, go through your mouth through and hit you. the enemy in the gizzard. Yep, exactly. We have gone so far off the edge. But yeah, it's a good tactic. And another slightly dirty tactic that Frosty is uh, somewhat known as the master of in my videos. Well, Frosty, I mean, no words are necessary. Why don't you just come over here and and, um, and uh, wait a minute. You're, you, you, need, you need the weapon. You need the fuck. I have the weapon. No, the, 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 the weapon that we're all using. <laughs> oh, why? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah for yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but yourself, why don't you give us a little preview of the fainting power. Mystery. The fainting power. Ow, fuck. Look how just... Oh, my God. Don't hurt me. You can't. <laughs> I actually probably would have fell for most of those faints. Come here, you. Yeah, you can't, you can't not fall for it. It's disgusting. Yeah, hit me. Especially because the thing is, at, you, like, obviously at a close range like this, it's hard to read the weapon anyway, but mm -hmm. at about this range... Fainting, it's so it's almost impossible to tell mm -hmm. that I'm oh, yeah, like going to faint you, you know. It, it's just it's Ooh. a disgusting weapon, and I can cancel it pretty much at any time yeah. of my attack. The brandy's even worse, obviously, but this weapon is just like I don't need to flash faint it. Oh, yeah, sorry, I exactly. just fucked that up. No, yeah, like, no. like this would be a flash faint, guys. So, so for future reference, for those of you who do want to delve into comp, you're going to have to start fainting. Um, for others, this isn't as important, of course, because pubs. But if you were to go into fainting, you'd want to faint as late as possible. And with this weapon, it's very easy to do. So you just wait just a bit, good bit, till the enemy knows you're going to hit him. And then, nope. <laughs> nope on right exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah, where you don't get a flash faint, like, with this fucking... Oh, God. No, stop it. I hate you. Get, 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 get <laughs> away from me. Gonna... Yeah. So, it is good at fainting. Uh, but a very specific tactic that I have said is very effective with other weapons, Z-stabbing, can also be used very effectively with this weapon. So, yourself. Oh, yeah. Yourself. Why don't you use a Z-stab against Frosty here? Show him how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, you may not go. have seen it, guys, but Do I'm going to get right Do a more exaggerated one, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Obvious. Go for it. Okay. Exactly. You guys saw him basically make a Z-like motion. With his spear, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it to yourself. So yourself, I'm going to start looking right about here, and then now that was more of a double Z. Uh, let me do a bit, a bit of a simpler version. Basically, you juke someone into thinking you're blocking in a given direction, and instead you block, you attack in the other one. So basically, if I'm attacking Deuce, Deuce, let's go, let's go, Honey Bunch. Uh, I'm going to want to start, start attacking in this direction. And then pull it into his other side effectively. And of course, I'm yeah. exaggerating it heavily here. But in the game, you you can do it uh, quite effectively. Yeah, just like that. That's a, that was a very precise Z-stab, actually. It took a couple tries. But if you can master that, um, it's very easy to deal out a lot of damage with this weapon. With a simple...
flick of the wrist. Yeah. So like, mm -hmm. show it, show it though from just a standing perspective, because I know you're showing it from like a moving. Your, your, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing it movement, but literally, exactly. it's like. I want to attack this way or make mm -hmm. them think I'm attacking this way exactly. so that they parry that way, but I'm actually hitting them from this direction. Exactly. So yeah. So it's just bingo. So yeah, that's how it looks like when you see it. Basically, it almost looks like the the other character skips a frame of animation because they're moving their their uh, they're moving their weapon as quickly as they can while they're rotating. Yeah. The only way I can parry it is by kind of just like very lightning fast pulling it in the other way. Um once you get the hang of blocking Z stabs, ooh, that was actually a really good one. I may have, I really exaggerated the other side there. Very nice deuce. However, that was with the brandy, and the brandy is just ugh. The brandy's gross. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's a great weapon though. Uh, That's so why it's gross. Good at Z stabs, and of course we have to talk about its dragging ability. First of all, it is pretty solid in terms of acceleration. Uh, deceleration is all right. It's a bit funky. Uh, for example, Deuce, come here. Come here, and I'm going to I'm going to give you a little taste of this medicine. It almost looks as though it's a 180 path that it goes in. So as you can see, that one did not hit him. However, if I keep myself just to the left of him, that will not. If I look so his body's about three quarters of the way in, bam. And it works even better if I kind of pull my body at the last second into his as a decelerated strike. But that is not the most reliable because this weapon is still quite fast. And you can't delay... You can't decelerate a uh, a hard stab unless you Z stab. Uh, if, from my experience, uh, can I chime in on that point? Go ahead. The, the only way that I would ever decel anything like that, like if you were going to decel something that is obviously more advantageous to just excel like mm -hmm. this, yeah, was is that if literally if I was hugging uh, Tripper and I just kept was and I just kept excelling him, kept excelling him, and then all of a sudden I deceled decel. it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I wouldn't just straight up start off an attack or an engagement with a D cell just because, like, it's such, it's so readable. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah, have to, so. you have to, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely, it. yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a more effective way, if you want these already at stab, is trying to make them fall for the, the uh, attack before you hit them, right? That's mm -hmm. the basis of decelerating. Mm -hmm. So, if I want yeah. to do a decelerate stab, basically, I'm going to aim for him at the start of this stab miss and then miss on purpose and then drag it back into him exactly so i'm gonna oh. fall for excel and then he's gonna go into decel that's one ah, effective okay. way of how to do a like a better deceleration Ooh. it's hard to do that's with the spear because it's so fast yeah exactly. yeah that's the thing it's easier with weapons like the brandy but you can mm -hmm. do it yeah, yeah certainly. do it to me see what i'm doing i'm aiming for him yep last second i'm going here. out back in come here come here you come here yeah. big boy big boy Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Now, now you got to make sure, guys, the mistake I just made, I invested much too far into the uh, the side I was kind of juking out him, him, out, him out on. That was just a jumble of words. Oh, there it was. Lord. Yep. He thought I'd excel and instead I decelled. Perfect. So that's that. Uh, again, LMBs are generally going to be your best bet with accelerated strikes. It's a lot more difficult to accelerate stabs. With this weapon, simply because you are not a man-at-arms, face-hugging is not the greatest of tactics. With a Vanguard, necessarily, you can't easily just dodge out of the way of danger when you are face-hugging. Do you want to, uh, do you want to talk about this weapon in terms of a teaming weapon? Because, like, if you yeah. have a knight that oh, you're yeah. working on, in uh, mm -hmm. like, in partnership with, this weapon's fucking amazing. Or any of the spears are. Right, yeah, absolutely. Because uh, in, a, in a professional team fight, the knight is going to be your first line of attack. And defense, to a respect. The Vanguard is going to come up as that knight is taking the brunt of the battle, and he is going to be dealing the DPS. So it's kind of a tank DPS dichotomy in a sense. Though the knight is still going to be dealing lots of damage, and the Vanguard is still going to be able to take a hit or two. So this is a pretty good example if just if me and yourself are coming on in with our spears, and we're just we're battering Frosty down here. You know, he's got a Vanguard buddy who is just smacking me in the face, and I don't know who to target at this point. And wham, I go down. So, there we go. Yeah, going him. Good job, Deuce. Chest bump. That was solid. Chest bump. So, so, may I say something? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> that was nice. Okay. So like, mm -hmm. let's say if we're two v twoing, and usually when you two v two, you usually have a knight and a vanguard, yeah. and mm -hmm. knight is basically the guy who engages the fight in the beginning. So let's say if Frosty was engaging the fight in the beginning, he's gonna go in first and engage Tripper, right? What's good with the spear is I can always go around Frosty and hit Tripper, because yeah. yeah, the reach is so extremely long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could just 
boop, popped Just right stick around. Stick it you. under their armpit. Yeah, and if yeah. your knight is like, especially if your knight's a buddy, um, if they're like walking in and they're and they're parrying, man, like. And you know they got your back and they're going to be pairing for you like you can just poke out from safety and then retreat back into safety except if that i happens. just failed yeah so yeah. i gotta commit sudoku so poco you gotta commit nope. sudoku sudoku oh, oh no yeah right. so yeah that is the spear in a nutshell ladies and gentlemen uh do you guys have any other closing remarks to make we're going to do a couple finishing duels more or less before we close um, out for real uh what you, yeah what do you think yourself one mm -hmm. thing that I do want to say, the LMB is very, very fast, and it's a really good move, but it's more of a move to try to gain back initiative in mm -hmm. a fight. Just because it's extremely fast and it's very hard to parry. Like, let's say if it's going, it's a back and forth fight with me and Frosty, yeah. right? And it's his, it's like his turn attack, I can't parry, he's like dragging me or whatever, and he keeps hitting me, right? And our way is how I get back initiative, it's just doing LMB. Right. Yeah, just getting in a quick yeah just getting in a quick lmb exactly it cancels my attack it's sort of like a kick but mm -hmm. you know because in a fight you always want to have the initiative right because in, yeah. in the initiative you always, that's when you do damage yeah it resets the initiative if you are to do this very lightning quick attack while your opponent's like doing this really crazy drag or something good yeah. point absolutely <clears throat> come come at me bro oh no actually you frosty so yeah I'm, i can I'm actually hurt, but yeah sure no no this is fine um because this weapon is not the most fantastic against knights unless you can keep them at range. So I'm going to do my best. Whoopsie daisy. Just like that. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. yeah. My, exactly. That's what it's made for. Place in a spear, my favorite place in a spear match, like when I'm the one wielding the spear, is I like to keep them about right here. Mm -hmm. No, no, hold on. I'm not going to attack you. Yeah. I like to keep them about right here because the thing is you could you could face hug with the spear and you can get obviously quicker attacks or whatever. But the reason I like keeping them right here is because then you're uh, your enemies at this awkward position where their brain isn't sure whether or not they want to back away from the spear mm -hmm. or they want to engage. So it kind of like it sometimes can fuck up what they want to do, especially yeah. if they're not used to like their play style yet. So that's a good way just to like kind of fuck fuck people up. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this weapon, the, the sheer range of this weapon is kind of what makes it a really solid choice uh, in Shiv comp. And uh, you can just hop around like that with it. And hop in and out of the enemy's range, and oh, I can do that too, uh, right. <laughs> because I will. I will most of the time. There will not be a time in the fight with this weapon where your enemy will be able to hit you, and you won't be able to hit them. As long as you aren't like you can't reverse with this weapon. So as long as you aren't trying to do that, then there won't be I a think moment. You like can. That. You can, but it's like stupid. But hit like reverse. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna put everything together. Try to bring down Frosty in his final form. Okay, which is the faint form, obviously. <laughs> the fainting form I've combined with a bunch of Asians to create. Oh. I did it. There we go. I did faint. it. I did it. I know. I'm I joined so the dark happy side. That you fainted finally. The oh. faint is the best is oh. the best tactic. No. It's so it's so this nice. weapon I mean the thing is the thing about the spear, I know most people have like bad things to say about faints, but like this is a weapon meant to faint players with. <laughs> it is the best fainting yeah. weapon. I know we've like right, pretty much right. said that, but I cannot stress enough. It is the best fainting yeah, weapon like ever. So if that's your, if that's your preclusion, go ahead. If not, you can have plenty of fun using this weapon to create a spear line to do some fun shit. You know, have your good old. This is actually a fun little like stupid tactic. You can just hang out on the other side of smoke, and you'll be able to hit people on the other side with the spear. Um, not accurately, obviously. But it's cool because the range is so huge. So yeah, that is our spear tactics video. I believe you folks yeah. have helped very much so yourself. Why don't you? Why don't you hit me up? Hit me up one last okay. time. Hit me up, baby. Hit me up. Show them how much this weapon can be good. How how much this weapon can good. Oh, I miss. You miss. Hmm. I miss. Oh, no, 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 no. We just did a reverse with it. How oh wow. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was trying to do a 360, but I, I started too early. So instead, I did. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how I parried that. You can reverse. You can reverse with a uh, with <laughs> a alternate LMB, can't you? And an LMB. Ooh, ooh, baby, that range. Like depending on what your sensitivity is, I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, again, just like, hop, just hippity hop, your freaking bunny rabbit. Give me, give me that cush. Come at me, bro. No. 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 
No. There we go. Nice. Oh, so that's that, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. First tactics in a long time. Going to be trying to work these out with Frosty in the coming weeks as much as I can. And Frosty, damn, you you are a boss yourself. Thank you so much for taking, for allowing me to take the time from you out of your life, out of your soul to help yeah. help these fantastic people. You fantastic person yourself. <laughs> you, you are. Yourself is a fantastic person. All right. Uh, fuck. I love its name. God damn it, Frost. That's right. Here. You come right, right over fucking here. You all have a grand day, all right? You just have a... <sighs> I'm gonna... Oh, it didn't God. show me my body explode. I'm disappointed. Oh, it's well. Cause, it's because you're on tourney, tourney mode. mode. Okay, come here. Pro tip, guys. Final Do fight. Mode. Final fight. Final fight. Final fan... Uh, fan that fan. was a... Uh, oh, Fine. God. <sighs> Sorry, I did some tripper tactics. I just fucking oh. gambled. That's I what just, I did. I just missed a charge. Fuck off. I don't approve. No. Stay down. Goodbye. See you guys.